Great work on those exercises. In our short time together, we've seen how helpful the Python community can be. Not only have they provided some excellent packages for us to use, but they've also provided documentation to help us use them. Something you probably know from real life is that different cultures and communities follow different guidelines that can help them run smoothly. For example, this can be seen in different greetings. Depending on which community setting you're in, it might make sense to say hello by shaking hands, bowing, or bumping fists. These unwritten rules are known as social conventions. The world of software engineering also has conventions that differ based on the language and community. Luckily for Pythonistas, these conventions aren't unwritten. We can turn to Python Enhancement Protocol 8, or PEP8. PEP8 is the de facto style guide for Python code. It lets us know how to format our code to be as readable as possible, and to quote PEP8, code is read much more often than it is written. So readability is not something that should be overlooked. Let's see an example. Here, we have some code that violates PEP8 best practices. To put it simply, the code here is hard to read. A few problems are, the module import isn't at the top of the file, the spacing and indentation is inconsistent, and the lack of line breaks makes it difficult to tell when one idea finishes and the next one begins. Even without knowing the specific PEP8 rules being broken, you can probably tell this isn't the most readable chunk of code. Let's see what the same chunk of code looks like after being rewritten to conform to PEP8. Much better. By following the agreed upon rules in PEP8 and using whitespace appropriately, this code became much more readable despite accomplishing the same exact task. So how is it possible to keep up with the many rules defined in PEP8? Thankfully for you and me, there are tools that can check your code for you just like a spell checker. Personally, I use an IDE that flags violations as soon as I write a bad line of code. But there are other options. One in particular that you'll be exposed to in this course is the PyCodeStyle package. PyCodeStyle can check code in multiple files at once and it outputs descriptions of the violations along with information to let you know exactly where you need to go to fix the issue. Here is some example code on how to install and use PyCodeStyle from the shell. As you'll see in the exercises later, you can also run PyCodeStyle from a Python script. Here we use the command line interface to check the contents of the file dict2array.py that contains our poorly formatted code from before. Note that the output we see on this slide has been truncated. The output shows us the exact location of any violations by showing the file name, line number, and column number where the problem occurred. Note that the output does not use zero-based indexing. Additionally, PyCodeStyle outputs a human-readable description of the PEP8 violation and an error code. A complete list of PyCodeStyle's possible error codes can be seen in the package's documentation. Okay, we've covered the importance of PEP8 and how it can improve your code's readability. Let's move on to some exercises to get some hands